Welcome back to Pokemon Crystal Randomizer Nuzlocke. We're gonna try to get through that rocket hideout today. I know last part we started it, but we didn't finish it. We got through some of the security guards. So hopefully we can go ahead and finish that today. And then we also added a shiny Pokemon to the squad. We we added to Lockjaw here. Lockjaw the Raticate. I think I might use it because I know last part I was contemplating if I was going to use it or not, but we're going to use it because that Hyper Fang was doing damage. I don't know if Raticate, he was just hungry or, or not. I don't know, but that Hyper Fang was nasty. And actually, we haven't used Raticate since it evolved. We used Rattata, but we haven't used our shiny Raticate. So we're going to go ahead and put him in front and let him shine for a little bit. So I think it's going to be a good addition to our squad. I think he's about to about to clap some hoes. But let's go ahead and get these items. I remember last part, we... We didn't have enough space in our bag to get these items, so let's go ahead and grab these joints. Have a sunstone. Probably won't be using it, but you know, so maybe we can sell that joint. Get some, get some money. And then what's this? Got the spell tag. All right, probably go ahead and sell that joint too. But yeah, let's go ahead and get through this, this hideout. And I think we need to get two passwords, or was it two passwords for this door? It needs a password to open. We might need, I think it's like, they give you a password, but it's like a fake password or something like that. I think that's what happens. You run little pest. It ain't like that. We're gonna start off with just an insult. I just started the video. Like, come on now, that's messed up. I might be like an undercover boss. They don't even know that, like what the heck. But yeah, Lockjaw, I don't think he wants to be handling uh, Goro's relative right now. Goro's and Shiva's, was it Shiva? Was it Shiva? Sheba. I think it was Sheba. I don't know. But let's go ahead and get Oliver. Get out of there. Man, it's crazy. Like, I don't know what it was. Like, these last couple of weeks, like, I've been slacking on the recording. It's been like a week since I played this. It's been two weeks since I recorded Dino Crisis. Like, I was, I've been really slacking lately. I don't know what's been going on. But we, it's time to get back on track. You know what I'm saying? It's trying to get back on track and clap some hoes. Why wow, this Machamp's trying to low kick me? I bet you that Machamp wouldn't like it if our Oliver low kicked at him. Yeah. Little spider legs, he probably wouldn't like that, huh? Nah, I don't think you would like that. Nah, I don't feel like Leech like would do too much, but let's let's see. Might surprise me. Nah, all right, not very effective. Like, I know, like, the super effective moves, I never really paid too much attention to, like, the moves that aren't, that's not very effective. I don't know, All right, and, like, the natures, too, in, like, the newer Pokemon games, I never really, like, got into those, those mechanics. I'm just a simple Pokemon player. Whooper. Alright. Nah, I guess Oliver can go ahead and handle this joint. Clapped. Oh no, you're not clapped. Oh, I thought, I thought that nice shade would have went ahead and clapped that joint. One more should do. Put him to sleep, Oliver. Nighty night. <laughs> Don't let the bed bugs bite. Oliver gonna be right there on his web, upside down. When you wake up, he's gonna be upside down, hanging from his web, dangling. Yeah, that's what's gonna happen. All right, you give me a password. I remember you have to like talk to him and they give you a password. Only the boss knows the password for the door. All right, isn't it like a Murkrow that says something that gives you the password? Man, I think so, I don't know. Well, I was at work the other day and I, th I thought of a topic to talk about in this video. The door won't open, yeah, we figured that. You need a password. And I know last part we were talking about like movies and stuff because I went to go see Abigail. Like, I, I liked the movie. I thought it was a pretty good movie, but I, I talked to some people, they didn't like it. I thought it was a good movie. You know, like I said, movies came in out the last couple years have not been that great in my opinion. But last part, we are talking about movies. And I was, at work to, I was at work a couple days ago, and like, I was listening to the, to the Pokemon To Be A Master album, because I was at work, and I was looking for some new music to listen to. I was like, you know what? That, that album was kind of fire. They had some bangers, right? That dance mix, I think that's like the best. I think that's the best track on that album. I might have it play 
in the background. I don't care about copyrights. I ain't getting paid anyway. But, um, oh, let's see what Lance has to talk about. What he's talking about. It takes two passwords to get into the boss quarter. Those passwords are known only to a few rockets. The, the rocket there very graciously told me so. Yeah, he probably threatened with that Dragonite Typer being, huh? You, Lance, you ain't slick. Silent, let's go get the passwords. Let's get it. But yeah, what was I saying? What'd you say to Lance? Uh, that guy is the in the cape is incredibly tough. I uh, ain't none. I'm gonna, I'm gonna I'm gonna beat him later. Pause. I'm gonna beat him in the Pokemon League. That's what I meant. Ooh, Slowpoke Tail. Can I sell that for a high amount? I'm gonna sell it back to the Team Rocket Runs. That's what I'm gonna do. But yeah, I was in my I was in the office and looking for some for some music. I was listening to that Pokemon To Be a Master. I think it's called To Be a Master album. That junk was fire, right? And I was looking at all the songs, and then one of the songs had, I think it's called Misty's Song, I think one of the songs is called. And like, I was listening to it because I was like kind of curious. Usually I don't like love songs and stuff. I think love songs are kind of trash. But that's just me. But I was I was listening to it, right? I was like, Misty's about to spit bars? I was like, okay. But she wasn't singing though. I don't know if it was like her voice actor or I don't know who it was singing. But I started thinking, it made me raise the question. Like who do you who do you think like would have been the like the perfect match for Ash like out of all the female companions he had throughout the throughout the series and like I only I stopped watching Pokemon probably around Diamond and Pearl so I don't really know too much about Dawn Iris from Black and White and like Serena I think that was her name I think her name was Serena from like X and Y and I don't know like his companions after after that so I can't really say. But like, based off what I've seen, I honestly think that Misty probably would have been the best one, I think. Based off, you know, just my knowledge. Like I said, I stopped watching Pokemon with Dawn, so I don't really know too much about her. I've seen like a couple episodes. Same thing with Pokemon, like Black and White when they had, when he was traveling with Iris and I think that dude's name was Silent. So I, I didn't really finish those, those series. But after hearing that song, I was like, dang, maybe Misty really did love Ash, you know what I'm saying? So I, always, I always knew that, like, you could always tell that she liked him. But I was like, maybe, maybe that was probably the good match for, for Ash, I think. I think Misty probably been in more series than all the other girls, too, I think. I think this dude gives you a password. I think it's Eradicate Tail. Hey, you better stay away from my Eradicate. I ain't playing with y'all. They're trying to... They trying to steal my Raticate tail. Uh, if you, if you, you, y'all can try, but you gonna have to go through my whole squad. If you try to get one tail, you have to get all of the tails. And Harmony for sure not giving up her tail. She worked hard for that joint. But yeah, I was just thinking about that. I was like, dang, like this song is like make me feel a little warm and fuzzy inside. Nah, no, no, I'm just playing. But yeah, I was like, dang, maybe. But like I said, I don't know about the like the other Pokey girls. I don't know like how connect how close he was to those to those characters. I have no idea. Oh, you know one of the scientists got the passwords. Lickitung. Maybe it's Radicate Tail and Lickitung Tongue. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know. Just a thought. I mean, I, I kind of clever to me. I don't know. Wait, I don't know if I have the still that dance music still playing in the background. I don't know, but that jungle, it, that music is fire. That that track is probably my favorite on the track. I don't know who who's singing it, but she got some skills. I have to look at more of her songs because she she's killing this track. That just made me realize, man. It's like, man, they don't make stuff like they used to, man. It's like it just reminds me like when you're young. Your parents and like the older generation, it was like, man, those were the days when, when they were kids, you know, the stuff that they went through, you know, and now that like we're getting older, I'm 32, and I was like, man, I look back at, at like when I was younger versus now, it's like, I'm in the same boat that they were, it's like, man, like those were the days, you know, like, I feel like 90s and early 2000s was like a really good time, in my opinion, you know. It might just be because that's when I grew up, but I feel like that was a good time. Like I feel like the po the gaming was good. I, I feel like that was a like the perfect time for video games. Like it was very fun, and <clears throat> excuse me, and like the Pokemon too. Like 
I feel like Pokemon started to fall off like Gen 5, I think. I think Gen 5 is when it started to get weird. And they start having freaking trash bags and I think that's when they had keys. What was that Clef Key? Was Clef Key in that generation? I don't know if Clef Key was in that. But they had freaking trash bags and they got key car keys now. They got teacups. Like it's weird, man. Like Pokemon just to me I just think like Pokemon just got gotten kinda weird, honestly. Like I didn't play the Scarlet and Violet Pokemon games yet because I heard it was like really buggy. But I wanna I want to play it. Just so I can say I played every generation. I actually haven't even started collecting Pokemon cards from the newer Pokemon sets. Because I want to play the game first, so when I'm pulling cards, I'll know what I'm looking at, you know what I'm saying? But, yeah, I just feel like... I feel like the first two generations of Pokemon were the best. Gen 3 was like, alright, it's, it's not too bad. Gen 4 was good. But then, Gen 5, I think that's when it's kind of started to go down, in my opinion. But there's nothing like the original... I'm going to say 251, because I think Johto and Kento Pokemon were just... They're a fire, you know. When I think of Pokemon, I'm automatically going to either think of a Pokemon from Gen 1 or Gen 2. I'm not going to think of, like, any other Pokemon. But let's see. Ooh. Oliver, yeah, get out there. Yeah, but I think there's, what, like, nine generations of Pokemon now. I think they should go one more generation, make it ten. And I don't, I don't see, I don't think it's gonna stop anytime soon because Pokemon just is popping like that. So I don't really think it's gonna stop. So I think Gen 10 would be good. I think they what they should do, in my opinion, Gen 10 should be something special, you know. And they should finally make a Pokemon game with every Pokemon in it, you know. I think that that would be a good. I think that would be a good like. I guess 10 generation anniversary I guess I think that would be dope you know that way you gotta trade I know that they do that so you have two versions so like you have to buy both games and stuff you make more money and stuff but like make gen 10 like for the fans you know because I'm pretty sure every Pokemon fan wants a game where it has every Pokemon in it you know that you can access you know I'll even settle for it's like almost kind of like a Nuzlocke where it's like every time you play it there's different Pokemon, but not necessarily a Nuzlocke where you can run into like Mewtwo's, but like, let's say one time you play it, and like the beginning Pokemon you get Rattatas, Pidgeys, Hoot Hoots, and then you play it another time, and then you get like Spinarax, Pikachu's, like, I think that would be a really good idea. You know, not necessarily Nuzlocke where there's, you can run into Legendaries and fully evolved Pokemon, but just like, when you play it, you know, have like a rotation, you know. I think that that would be, I think that would be fire, and I know they got the hard way to do it. I think they confirmed a Nintendo Switch 2 or whatever. I think this girl, I think this lady has the password too. But I think that that would be fire though. I guess the topic today can be like a, an all around Pokemon type thing, because I was like, oh, there's no way I could just talk about, oh, oh heck nah, you have a Harmony 2? Hell no! I'm tripping. There's only one true Harmony up in this joint. I should have sent Harmony out here to show you who the real Harmony is. Yeah, you already know what it is. Orbit was extra mad because they sent up there trying to mimic our leader. Well, let me take you out. You ain't the real Harmony. I mean, stuff she had freaking, freaking a hip on top. Now I just feel like she's just copying me. But yeah, what was I saying? Yeah, I know they have the hardware to do it for the... To make every Pokemon in one game. I don't know why they don't do that. But how, how they were doing with Pokemon Scarlet and Violet, what I heard, with all the bugs and stuff, it's almost like, man, probably don't do that. You know, you won't you messing that joint up. Slowpoke Tail. Radicate Tail and Slowpoke Tail. Alright, what she don't know is I already, I already got the other password. But yeah, I, th I think that would be dope. I heard people were saying they wanted like another Pokemon Stadium. Which again, I think would be dope, but have every Pokemon in it. You know, 
almost like how they have Super Smash Bros. Ultimate, where they had every character ever in the game. In the game. Ooh, Lucky Egg? Oh, I definitely need that. Oh, I definitely want that joint. I didn't even know they had Lucky Egg in this game. But yeah, I'm gonna go back and... I need to heal anyway. And then we'll go ahead and deposit some items. And then we will come back. Alright, so I deposit some items. And then I wanna see if this dude... Oh, he's not gonna sell us nothing. Aw, oh, crap. I want to see how much they would sell me for this. Or how much they would give me for this Slowpoke Tail. Because it says it's very tasty and it sells for a high price. So I was kind of curious if I sold it back to him. You know what I'm saying? How much they would give me. But it don't look like he wants to take that joint. Now, does Lucky Egg do the same thing that it does in every other Pokemon game? Or is this something different? Earns extra XP? Yes. Uh, we're getting Mystic up there. He sh I'm trying to get her up there. She's kind of... She's she's catching up. She's catching up. So let's, let's give it to Orbit. Let's just see how I, how, I, how it works. Let's do it. Yeah, we definitely gonna battle trainers up in here. We need to... We need to grind. Honestly, once I'm done with this hideout... I don't know after this hideout we have to go to Goldenrod and do the Radio Tower. I don't remember if it's right after this. If so, that's still some good training, because we don't need that. Thinking I might I might do some grinding after we do the rocket hideout anyway. 364? Yeah, I guess that's not bad. Jutini probably don't give you that much experience anyway. Out of here, sir. All right, yeah. I was thinking, I was thinking about like rewatching the Pokemon. Though I know that a couple years ago I started watching Pokemon again, like from the very beginning, and I made it up to to Hoenn, the Hoenn series, where Ash got, I think he got his sex badge, and then I kind of just stopped watching, and I just be forgetting. Like, I've, I've been watching uh, Yu-Gi-Oh! GX, too. I think that's, like, GX and 5Ds are my favorite Yu-Gi-Oh! series. And, like, I I went through, I was binge-watching GX for, like, last month. And, like, I'm on the, like, the last five episodes. But, but, yeah, I was thinking about maybe watching Pokemon. I don't know, like, what was it, Sun? The Sun and Moon? Anim the Sun and Moon versions? Or the anime or whatever? When he's in the Helloan region? I don't know, that design to me is just kind of off. I don't know, I think they should have just left it like the old school look. I know they probably try to switch it up for like modern kids and stuff, but I don't know, the newer look generation of Pokemon just don't look all that good to me. I don't know. I don't know if that's just me, but I'm just not feeling it. I might be feeling this TM28 though, depending on what it is. But yeah, I was thinking about watching Dig, eh. But, but yeah, I don't know. Maybe I get it, gotta give it a try. The newer Pokemon with the, that, the new protagonist. Oh, I forgot that I have to battle this guy. I don't think about Pokemon's in order. Didn't I tell you that I was going to destroy Team Rocket? Tell me, who was the guy in the cape who used Dragon Pokemon? My Pokemon were no match at all. I don't care that I lost. I can beat him by getting stronger Pokemon. It's what he said that bothers me. He told me that I don't love and trust my Pokemon enough. You don't? The heck? I could have told you that. I'm furious that I lost to a bleeding heart like him. Hmm. I don't have the time for the likes of you. Oh, okay. I thought we were about to battle. And then he just pushed me. I want to just smack this dude upside the head with that sharp beak or a poison barb. Poison his butt. I think we can get in here, though. The door open, cool. I believe that Murkrow is gonna have the password. What was I saying? Oh yeah, the newer, the newer Pokemon with what's her name? Is her name Linko? I don't, I don't know. I think that's how you say it. I don't, I don't even know if I'm saying it right. I don't even know if her name start with L. I think it's that. I don't know, but she seems like she's a cool protagonist from like the clips I've seen on Instagram. What? Who are you? This is the office of our leader Giovanni. Since or yeah, since this banding team rocket three years ago, he has been in training. But we're certain he will be back someday to assume command again. 
That's why we're standing guard. I won't let anyone disturb this place. Too late, I'm already here. I already clapped like a bunch of y'all guards already. But hey, depending on how much you pay in, I, I might join, you know what I'm saying? But I want a higher position. Especially if I beat you. You're an executive, so if I clap your jump bluff, I want your, your position. But yeah, I was thinking maybe starting watching Pokemon again, but from from um, Diamond and Pearl series. With I, I believe he's traveling with Dawn and Brock, I think. I think he's still traveling with Brock. I don't remember. But I think that that would be... I might do that, because I'm looking for stuff to watch anyway. So I might do that. I don't know. Maybe my my thought would change. I think Misty would probably would have been the best match for him. Maybe it would change if I watched all the other po Pokemon. From what I've seen, it seemed like Serena was probably good for him too. I think that like at the end he was about to... I don't know if she did kiss him or was about to kiss him after she was going down the escalator or something. I don't know. I don't know if they like... I think I've seen like a clip where like they knew each other when they were younger or something. I don't know. I don't know if that was what I seen. I don't know. Maybe they were neighbors. I don't know. I have no idea. But I might start watching that joint. I don't know. Leech seed me, huh? You better not put me to sleep, alright? I am not tired, alright? I just took a power nap. I'm tired of the sleep powder. I don't need your help going to sleep. About to put you to sleep. You ain't about to be jumping for a while now. Holy world, huh? About to hypnotize me? Look at Harmony. We haven't seen Harmony out here. You know she upset that she's seen a clone earlier. I heard her in her Pokeball. She was going off in her Pokeball. She was like, I cannot believe that they have a clone of me out there. I, I, I understand. I'll hate to see a clone of myself too. Especially if it was weak. We didn't even see what moves it had, because we clapped it in one hit. Warby wasn't playing that in them games. Out of there. Should assume that we come across the right at least one time. That better be the only time, though. I ain't playing with this game. But yeah, I'm still debating if I want to do a... A Platinum... Randomizer after this? I don't know. It would be fun. I was thinking about doing that tomorrow, like starting it on my 3DS. I'm off to well, tomorrow's my Friday, so I get to stay up late. Well, not really, because I gotta go to the dealership, get oil changed. No, I, I know they ain't got nothing to do with Pokemon, but I just thought I'd throw that out there. No, I can't let this affect me. I have no. I have to inform the others. Hey, why are you crashing into a table? You're clumsy. You crash into the union. You're an executive. You should be ashamed of yourself. Oh wait. Oh, we don't want Mystic Fainting. Oh my gosh, you were poisoned. Let's fix that. We do not want you fainting. It's good, Murkrow. Hey, he's blue. Is this a shiny Murkrow? The password is Hail Giovanni. All right. Kill. Hold it right there. Who that? Oh yeah, they about to jump me. We can't have a brat like you on the loose. It's harmful to Team Rocket's pride, you see? However, however strong you may be, you can't take both of us at the same time. <laughs> I bet you I can. Sorry, baby. I hope that's the girl that called me baby. I ain't with that. I ain't with that. That, that. <laughs> I ain't gonna say it on camera because, you know what I'm saying, I get a hate crime or something. But I ain't with that type of stuff. But, uh, <laughs> now get ready to be thrashed. I'll take on both of y'all. Here come Dragonite. Hey, don't be so selfish. Spread the fun around. Alright. What? You have an accomplice? Where is your sense of honor? Man, y'all just about to jump me. What are you talking about? As an interim boss, I place of... I think it said I play so Giovanni, I don't know, I pushed X before I read it, I don't know what's going on with my mind, I don't know. I'll show you how wrong it is to meddle with Team Rocket. Alright, bring it on. Said she's about to be like a leader or something. 
I just clapped one of the exec. Oh, you're an executive too? I'm about to take your position. All right. Are right, you calling me baby? I feel like that. I can turn you in for like sexual harassment or something. I don't know. I mean, you look kind of good. I guess you can call me baby, but I'm still about to take your position. But I feel I feel like you're still kind of mad rude. I ain't with that. I don't like rude females. So that means you about to get clapped. I'm about to take two executive positions in the same day. Giovanni's about to make my... Give me like a six-figure salary. I, I could have I took both of y'all for sure. I don't think y'all even ready. Your little quacksire. Get out of here with that. Mystic with the crit. I see you, Mystic. Let me, I can't wait to learn like Ice Bean or Aurora Bean or something. Lantern? Alright, Mystic. I don't think you want to be out there. This, this thing might have freaking... Freaking Thunderbolt or something. Let's get... Let's get Orbit out there. Thunder Wave? Ooh, dodge that joint. Don't like it in the Nord games. Oh, dang, we missed two? Oh, heck no. Nah. Don't they like the Nord games Thunder Wave is 100% accurate? I don't know. I'm glad he missed, though. You don't need to be hitting me with no Thunder Wave. Oh, I thought he missed again. There's like a slight pause. Like, did he miss again? Like, nah, sight. You gonna hold. He's like, you gonna hold this Thunder Wave. That's messed up. You just gonna paralyze Orbit while he's doing a headstand? That's messed up. Now he's stuck like this. Alright, I should probably get Orbit out of there. Orbit! <laughs> Why are you missing so many rolling kids, buddy? Did that fake right you take a lot out of you? I oh, don't know, but let's get let's get Oliver out there. I'm sorry, Oliver. I know you hate water. I know you hate water. Alright, but I'm gonna help you face your spears, alright? This hole just paralyzing all my Pokemon. I think all we have to do is battle these electrodes, which are going to be randomized to something. And then we can... Dang, you can paralyze, the, paralyze and confuse me. This executive got combo. She's doing a better job than the other executive. Maybe I don't want to take her job. Maybe she can be my sidekick. Then we can jump, we can jump other trainers and steal their Pokemon. She can paralyze them. You know what I'm saying? I could confuse them with X-Ray, with our Confuse Ray. Man, me and her, we could have a nice little combo system going on. But I don't think she's going to agree to that. Especially when I want her as my sidekick. I think she's she's trying to call the shots. That's not going to happen. Yeah, that's not going to happen on my watch. Let's try Zap Cannon. Yeah. Hold that, Poliwhirl. Out of there. Oliver 28. Nice, nice. What you got to say, baby? <laughs> you really are strong. I mean, it's too bad. If you were to join Team Rocket, you could become an... That's what I'm trying to do. Get to hey, spread the word to Giovanni. That's what I'm trying to do, all right? That's the I'm trying to get up in here, you know what I'm saying? We could jump trainers and steal Pokemon. I'll help y'all get Ash's Pikachu. <laughs> this hideout is done for, but that's fine. The broadcast... The broadcast experiment was a total success it doesn't matter what happens to this hideout now we have much bigger plans you'll come to appreciate team rocket's true power soon enough enjoy yourself while you can foo 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 <laughs> the thick is a foo foo that that did it we defeated all the pokemon or the <laughs> all the rockets here but i'm concerned about the young guy i battled in the process you talking about question mark question mark question mark Sorry, Silent. I saw how well you were doing, so I just hung back. Now, now, all there is left to do is turn off the odd radio signal. It's this machine that's causing all the problems. I don't see a switch on it. We have no choice. We have to make all the electrode faint. That sound, that should stop this machine from transmitting that strange signal. 
it's not it's no fault of the Pokemon, so it makes me feel guilty. Yeah, it says a person was bullying people with their Dragonite using Hyper Beam and stuff. I mean, I guess they kind of deserved it. They're bad guys, but still, I mean, you just punch them out. You don't have to hit them on a Hyper Beam. Silent, let's split the job. All right. I, you know, I didn't want to go right. But I think we're good. I think we got the Pokemon to, to handle this joint. But we're going to start off with Mystic. And like, like I said, these are static encounters. I usually only choose one. And the other ones I have to knock out. Because I feel like three encounters here, I think that's a bit too much. I mean, I'm with it, but you know what I'm saying? I don't want to, like, cheat or anything. So, I'm just going to choose one. I'm pretty sure they're all different. So, I'm just going to choose this one. Is that a Mankey? It's not like a Mankey. <laughs> I was surprised I knew that. Do I have... No, I don't have it. Alright, I have to catch this joint. That's cool. Uh... I don't think I'm body slamming and knock it out. Might even be able to paralyze him. Ooh. Karate chop. I don't know. I feel like maybe a Minky would be kind of fun to use. Oh, he's trying to... He's trying to one-hit... He's trying to one-hit me with that karate chop. Let me put you to sleep. Alright, with that Minky stuff, you're trying to knock me out. Lower my defense. It's gonna hit me to karate chop, and it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a crit. He ain't slick. He getting this great ball. All right, Minky is caught. Welcome to the squad. We got the pig monkey that lives in groups. All right, Minky. Welcome to the squad. All right, we're gonna go ahead and call Minky gentle. I know that makes I know that makes a lot of sense. But I mean, you know, I feel like Minky's really gentle and in, in spirit in the heart, so we can call him gentle. You know, he's really gentle. He's just putting up a front. You know, he's really gentle. You know, Minky just wants to give you a big fat hug. But we haven't seen X-ray today. Let's go ahead and get him out there and see what these other two Pokemon are. I don't know what that is. Like a Paris? Parasect? Venomoth? I was close. I'm part of the same family. A Venomoth. I think the very first time I did a Pokemon Crystal Randomizer Nuzlocke, I believe it was a Venomoth that I got for the Shiny. And I used it too. It was cool. But now I gotta clap this one. Get that moth out of here. Killing moths with stones. Alright, next. Uh, I have no idea. Alakazam? Oh, that would have been a good addition to the squad. I would definitely... Well, I wouldn't have used it because we already got a full squad. I wouldn't have taken anybody out. I don't think there's there's no Pokemon that I would replace. I like this squad. Even if it was an Espeon. Well, I don't know, Espeon. Nah. I would love to use an Espeon, but... I, I kind of like this team right now. <laughs> oh my goodness. I cannot believe that. Oh, that junk hurt. That junk freaking hurt. Hurts. Oh my goodness. X ray, really? Oh, Alakazam, I can't stand you. Oh man. That hurts. That hurts. Can't believe we lost X ray. Well, I'm sitting up here talking about not replacing any members. Now I have to replace somebody. Oh, I have to replace X ray. Oh my goodness, man. Ah, oh, that hurts. That hurts. Lance, I blame you. Why didn't? Why did you take the right side? I wanted to take the right side. The heck? You should have taken the left. That odd signal has finally stopped. The lake should be back to normal. You're the hero. Let me thank you on behalf of all the Pokemon. Oh yes, you should take this. I found it here, but I don't have any use for it. HMO6. I think that's like Waterfall or Whirlpool. One of those things. I'm mad. I don't even know. I don't even know what you're saying right now, Lance. 
You can use that. I was like, yeah, yeah, I already know that. The journey to becoming the Pokemon Master is long and difficult. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Don't give me no spiel, all right? I ain't gotta care. I don't even care what you have to say right now. I just lost one of my team members that I had pretty much since the beginning, all right? I met, like, right out, I think right out the side of the, that cave out of Zaya Town. Ah, oh, that hurts, man. That hurts so bad. I really want. I really wanted a golem too. Ah, X-ray. Ah, oh, that hurts. That hurts bad. But it is what it is. That's that's what Nuzlocke's do to you. Now I got to figure out what I'm gonna do with another team member. All right. The sad time has came. Has come. I have to deposit a, a Pokemon that we lost. Oh, that hurts. That hurts. I cannot believe we lost the X-Ray. That sucks. X-Ray, it was a pleasure. It was definitely a pleasure. I was trying to get you up to a Golem, but... It doesn't look like it was going to happen. It it's not going to happen, so... We need to figure out... Who we possibly can use. I don't know... I mean, I might just wait and see what we can come across. I have no idea. I mean, we can rock with the Kingdra. I love Kingdra. Second favorite Pokemon, but I don't know. I think for right now, we'll just rock the five Pokemon we have and see what, what future encounters we have. But yeah, I think this would be a good place to stop. Um, in the next part, we will probably go ahead and handle this gym. And I think it's after this gym that we have to go to Goldenrod City and do the whole, um, the whole radio place. I don't know. We have to go through like the radio tower and take out some more Team Rocket people, and then we have to go like underground and stuff. So we'll probably do that in the next part. I'm still I'm a little upset about X-ray. That that's tough. That hurts. I'm not going to even lie, but it is what it is, man. These Nuzlocks can can do that to you. But it is what it is. But I definitely appreciate you for watching. Be sure to come back for the next part, and I will see you then.